So I got a, a broken filter basket from Iver at Chromatic Coffee. It has a crack in it. And so I wanted to see what would happen if I ran some coffee through it. So I started this profile. Um, and this is slow motion. Uh, the, the crack is right where the, the handle is in the portafilter. And you can see there's going to be liquid start coming out of it, but it didn't, the profile uh, had a limiter on flow, so it didn't go up to nine bars, which is what I was aiming for. In fact, none of these profiles got up to nine bars. Um, but you can see there's uh, that spout that's shooting out is actually from the crack itself. So it doesn't quite get there. Um, so I, I stopped and I made another attempt. Uh, please don't try this at home. Uh, I'm not a professional. I just don't recommend trying this at home. Uh, but now we know, and it didn't get above six bars before catastrophe. This is the aftermath. I could have probably predicted this better. So when I did it again, I put some paper towels around. You could see the crack there. I was kind of hoping the bottom would pop out, but it didn't. Um, again, please don't try this at home. And I hope you enjoy. So this is the uh, channel that was made in the top and the bend in the basket got a little bit bigger. So um, this time let's do it staccato. So we put the fines on the bottom. We sifted with the shimmy, fellow shimmy. Um, so there's, uh, it's 300 microns. It's rated if it says 200, but it's really 300 because of the shape of the holes. 
So we're about nine grams on the bottom and then um, 11 or 12 grams on top, of course. So it's just simple two layers and um, it channels pretty hard, pretty fast. Um, it doesn't build up enough pressure. So let's try this again, but flip it. So we do fines on top, coarse on the bottom. I accidentally engaged the lever a little soon, so a little bit of water went through. It immediately started uh, channeling to this one part. And I thought this would end up building up enough pressure to cause something catastrophic. But this is where it got interesting. Um, it doesn't. It appears that the, um, the, there's a channeling coming through but the rest of the basket starts to fill up. So I measured the extraction yield and it's really low. It's, it's like a three to one shot and um, TDS is like six. So it's not extracting well, but what's interesting is you can see that um, it's still going and not having a catastrophe. Um, so then I, I, can, I can look at the puck afterwards and see what kind of happened, but uh, Someone asked me why I was doing these tests, and I don't know. But sometimes weird stuff like this comes out. You know, it's still clearly channeling. Um, but something interesting is going on. I thought this channel would go all the way through, but it doesn't. So uh, it must have healed itself somehow or just went straight to the basket edge.